Hello, my name is Fiona, and I'm a certified teacher and a Praxis coach with Study.com. If you are preparing to take the Praxis Social Studies test number 5004, then let's review some of the types of questions you will encounter on the exam. Which of the following types of maps uses shading and contour to show three-dimensional features like the elevation of a mountain range? A. Thematic, B. Physical, C. Political, or D. Meteorological. Let's look at each. A thematic map is used to visualize features that are not naturally visible, such as language or temperatures. A physical map shows physical features with visual representation, such as elevation. C. A political map shows the administrative borders such as countries, provinces, territories, and the like. And meteorological shows weather conditions. So the type we're looking for shows features such as elevation, and that is exactly what a physical map does. So our answer is B. Which of the following rivers flows through the state of Texas? A, the Nile. B, the Rio Grande. C, the Amazon, or D, the Yangtze? Let's look at each. A, the Nile. The Nile is the longest river in Africa, so that is not going to be our answer. B, the Rio Grande. It's one of the main rivers in the southwest of the United States, as well as in northern Mexico, so a definite maybe. C, the Amazon. It flows through Brazil, Peru, and Colombia in South America. So, not. And the Yangtze. This is the longest river that flows in a single country, China. And this is the longest river in Asia. So, we know now this definitely isn't going to be it either. So, our answer has to be the Rio Grande, which is one of the main rivers in the southwest of the U.S. and in Texas. Which of the following ecosystems is characterized by a high level of biodiversity and heavy precipitation throughout the year? A. Rainforest. It's in the name, it rains a lot, and home to more species of flora and fauna than any other ecosystem on Earth. B. Desert has very little precipitation. C, grassland. It has insufficient rainfall for a forest, but not so little for it to be a desert. And D, Arctic tundra. This is a treeless region with very limited precipitation. So clearly our answer here is A, rainforest. Which of the following best describes the difference between weather and climate? A. Weather refers to the long-term patterns of temperature, humidity, and precipitation in an area, while climate refers to the daily atmospheric conditions. B. Weather refers to the daily atmospheric conditions, while climate refers to the long-term patterns of temperature, humidity, and precipitation in an area. C. Weather and climate both refer to the daily atmospheric conditions in an area. Or D, weather and climate both refer to the long-term patterns of temperature, humidity, and precipitation in an area. Well, let's look at the definitions of each. Weather is the atmospheric conditions at a given time. Climate, on the other hand, is the weather patterns in a particular place over a long period of time. So given that, we have B, weather refers to the daily atmospheric conditions, while climate refers to the long-term patterns of temperature, humidity, and precipitation in an area. I hope I was able to answer your questions so that you can get a better understanding of the topics you can expect to find on the test. Please remember to like and subscribe to this channel so that with study.com's help, you will feel confident and prepared on exam day. Bye for now.